I didn't go far enough. Let's try this one more time. Hey guys, and welcome to Weekly Art Inspirations. I hope you are having a fantastic week and I believe is when this is going to be coming out. So with that said, as the title of this video says, it is a video collaboration with the awesome Rosemary Cat 5. I want to make sure that's the correct name. I am horrible with names. I was so sorry. Okay, so it is Rosemary Cat 5. Her awesome channel I'm going to be putting up above me and down below in the description if you want to check out her work, which you totally should. With that said, we are doing a really fun little, um, I had to make sure I'm not showing any of the addresses. We are doing a fun collaboration where we both sent each other a few art supplies and I have her box here. I have sent her a little package, um, which is also the other reason you guys should go check out her video um, to see what awesome things she has created. I actually haven't seen it yet because I'm filming this, but I'm so excited to see it. We are doing a steampunk myth theme for this, so that is going to be really exciting. It's a genre I really love. There isn't a whole bunch of art or books about it, but it is a really, really fun genre to work with. So with that said, we're going to head over to my desk, we're going to open this up, and then we're going to create some pretty awesome art. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. It could always turn out bad. There's, there's always that possibility. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you're enjoying it, the video thus far, go ahead and like it now. If you want to like it later, that works too. My little art sprite community, if you want to become a part of our art sprites, be sure to, you know, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell notification, and you will be aware of every video that comes out via Weekly Art Inspirations, because who doesn't want to stay inspired and keep creating awesome stuff? Nobody. Anyways, okay, let's head over, guys. Okay guys, so let's get into it. Um, I have my little bullet pocket knife here. We're going to open up this box. I'm going to see... I don't think I've opened up a... Okay, oh, there we go. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my word, this is so cute. Okay, so we moved our box out of the way. Oh boy. This is going to be exciting. Oh my gosh. Your packaging, Rosemary Cat, is adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh my word. Let's see here. Oh my gosh. Let's see what we have here. Oh my gosh, now I'm excited. Oh my gosh. I'll read, I'll read your note in just one second. By the way, this drawing is adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see here. So we have, oh my gosh, some glitter pigment. We have raspberry tea. What is this? Spring bake safe. Super shine shoe polisher. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Oh my goodness. So I know what I sent you, Rosemary, and you did incredible on finding, I mean, I kind of found a few, th I found like maybe two things, but oh my word. What is this? Fiberhand Broad Design Art Marker. I've never even seen one of these. This is so cool. Let's see here. Pentel Color Pen Fine Point. I love Pentel. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for sending these. I, this is such an interesting mix of th shoe polish is what's really getting me. Shoe polish is hilarious. That's hilarious that this bank had... I almost want to know the story. Please, Rosemary, Rosemary, let me know the story behind Boiling Springs Savings Bank. Why does this bank have shoe polish? That's hilarious if it is a literal bank that has shoe polish. Like, oh my word, this is hilarious. I have no idea how to open shoe polish, how to use. The question is, how do you open it? Either I'm a nectar, we have... Don't worry, guys, it may take me 20 minutes, but I'll figure out how to open this. <laughs> okay, so we're going to come back to the shoe polish. One, because that's hilarious. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, this marker, 
Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh! Oh, 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 yep, that is definitely, oh, oh you can tell that's an art marker. <laughs> it smells like paint. Oh, oh, that's nice. Pentel fine brush. This is so, so, oh my gosh, and tea, raspberry tea. And then, oh my gosh, this glitter. Holy crap, thank you so much to Rosemary Cat. Make sure you guys go follow her incredible work and go check out her channel as well as our collab video. Make sure to go follow, like, go to all of her social media and follow her. This is so incredibly fun. I'm so excited to be doing this. I will be reading the note off camera just so you know, Rosemary. Um, I don't know if you want it in the ca in camera to read it, so I will read it off camera, but this is <laughs> this is going to be exciting. Um, I, if I can ever figure out how to open the shoe shine the shoe polish eh. don't worry guys we'll get it i give me a few minutes let me clear this off i'm gonna get out my sketchbook and we're gonna do some art so give me five seconds guys okay guys <laughs> for you it will have been a second for me it's been like five minutes it's a twist <laughs> i'm a moron and it is a twist off don't worry i can be smart occasionally watch shoe shine how? Wipe the spongy lightly over the surface, buff two or three times, and then you'll have a brilliant shine. I wonder if I could use this with the sparkles. Huh, we're gonna try it. I still am just, I am still laughing myself silly that Boiling Springs Savings Bank has shoe shine. Like, that is hilarious. I don't know why I find that so funny, but I totally do. Anyways, guys, let's get into it. Like I said before, this is going to be a steampunk myth. Um, my plan right now is that I am going to Google myths, and I'm going to pick the first one that comes up, whatever myth it is, if it's Red Riding Hood, if it's, you know, the seven geese or whatever strange myth that I can find, that will be the first one we go with. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to get out my paper, and then we're going to do some art. So... Anna, um, I know you said that I could choose between shoe polisher or um, tea. I've decided I'm doing both. Since you sent me both of them, they are strange and they excite me and I have to use both of them. So I will be using both of them in the video. Um, so that everyone, as well as Anna, um, from... Oh, my word. I hate that my brain sucks. Hold on, guys. My brain is stupid. I wish I could remember names for my life. Don't worry, I have a sketchbook that I keep these things in. Rosemary Cat 5, holy fudge. It shouldn't be that hard for you to remember. I am so sorry. It's not you, it's me being a complete forget everything. Anyways, with that said, I have looked online and the one I am going with for a myth, the first one that came up when I went on one of the websites was a mermaid and a magic comb. Now, I'll tell you guys the story of it as I'm creating this because I realized after looking at it and seeing it that it was a really cool story. So I will kind of paraphrase and do the best that I can to tell you guys what the story is about as I'm doing the art, but hopefully you guys will enjoy having a little story time along with this collaboration. Let's get started, guys. So what I want to do in this part is just tell you the story of the mermaid and the comb. If you have heard it, that's great. If not, well, welcome. I'm going to do it with a little bit of flair because this is going to be a steampunk style, so I'm going to change a few details about it. So it starts off on a little edge of an island where an old man lives, and he goes down to the ocean one day for a walk. And as he goes down with his spectacle in hand, he sees a woman in a tide pool that's on the edge and the sea has gone out. And he goes to see her and see if she's all right, and he kneels down and she's quite frightened. And She looks at him and he sees that she is clockwork. She's beautiful with all of these different springs and cogs making up her body and her tail that's swaying. And he asks her what he can do to help, and she says that she has drifted away from her cogwork family that is in the ocean. Her husband and her children were left in a cave and she went to go search for food. And she starts crying, and the old man kneels down, wiping away his glass, and takes her hand and asks what is the matter. She adds that the merman, 
or the clockwork merman are savage and so he will eat their children if she doesn't get back to him and so she asks the old man if he can make it if he would be willing to help her get back and the old and she says she'll give him anything to be able to do it and so the old man of course being kind and generous asked to do good and so the clockwork woman mermaid mind you leans back and grabs a comb from behind her head and when she brings it forward it's a comb made of gold and she hands it to him and says if you comb the water with this you will be able to do good and so the old man takes it and after that day helping her escape back to the water to go back to her husband they become friends and she continues to visit him and he continues to go down to the water Mind you, the old man becomes a healer among all of the people of the village, and soon after that, the mermaid comes to him and says, I can make you young again, and you can come live under the sea. And the old man turns her down and says, No, I'm good, but thank you. And so, with some final parting words and a quick goodbye, she kisses his hand, smiles softly, and disappears into the copper surf as the sun sets. And as the old man looks out, he knows that he will continue to tell his children the story of the mermaid and the comb. And generations later, when the old steam trains have gone away and new tech has become more important, when the airships have finally flown their last time, his children still talk about the mermaid that he met at the cove who was seeking help from someone she could trust. And that is the story of the mermaid and the comb. Okay guys, so here is the finished art piece done in collaboration with the awesome Rosemary Cat 5. Anna, thank you so much for sending me these awesome supplies. They worked out so incredibly fun. I don't think I would have ever done something like this if we hadn't done this collaboration. So I'm super grateful. Thanks again to you for reaching out and suggesting doing this super cool idea. I hope you guys watching have enjoyed. Make sure to go check out Rosemary Cat 5 after this video. I will have at the end of this video a link to go over to her channel and see the awesome incredible collab video that she is doing over on her channel with the supplies I sent her. Um, but I hope you guys just stay inspired, stay amazing, try new things, have fun with your friends, make new art friends, and just just stay inspired guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe right over here. We are very close to 100 subscribers. If we can continue to build our little art sprite community, I am excited to announce that there will be a pretty big giveaway going on for 100. And I just, I love you guys. You're incredible. You just, you make me happy. You make me want to keep trying new things and to keep becoming a better artist when I want to give up. So keep being that kind of person, stay inspired, and just like I always say, stay amazing. With that said, make sure to check out these videos over here, especially this one up here of her incredible collab video. Thanks again, Anna, for this collab, and stay inspired, guys. Bye!